Hi, I'm Eloise at RSA and I'm here to talk to you about some solutions if you're having difficulties in opening a document we sent via encrypted email. I should start off by saying really sorry for any inconvenience caused when we send documents in this way. Obviously, we choose to send them via encryption to give that extra level of security to your data as it travels from us to you. Uh, we want to make sure that anybody that you otherwise wouldn't want to share confidential or sensitive data doesn't have a chance of getting hold of it. If you're struggling though, hopefully these options will help to get that resolved for you quickly. So in the description underneath this video, you will find a link to the document that I've got on my screen here, which is called which PDF readers are supported for protective PDFs. So have a click on that and you'll be able to see the same screen that I am looking at now. Um, so once you get on here, scroll down, start off with these three bullets. Um, if you have a look at viewing protected PDFs in Microsoft Edge on Windows or Mac, it will talk to you about the, um, the system uh, version that will support uh, Microsoft Edge for doing this. And it will also check, um, sorry, let you know which version of Microsoft Edge you need to have as well. So just check that out first. In terms of when you come to opening it, you'll probably find you're seeing this sort of document here with these three icons uh, down here for Windows, Apple and Android. Obviously, first of all try clicking on the respective um, icon and that may very well solve it for you if it doesn't as you'll see in this screenshot here you can go to the top left click on open and then open in browser and in almost all instances that will resolve it for you however if it doesn't scroll on and you'll see that here on uh, the bullet named number two it talks about the MIP plugin uh, if you click on this and download the MIP plugin for obviously Acrobat or Acrobat Reader um, both are free so obviously you're um, sorry Acrobat Reader is free and so is the MIP plugin. So no additional cost, but just download your MIP plugin and that will obviously help you to open this document as well. I should say that there is a further option uh, if you want to update the version of Acrobat Reader, uh, June 2022's uh, Acrobat Reader includes the MIP plugin. So you may want to do that because that will just obviously save you some time and it will automatically um, have that in incorporated. So options here are download your MIP uh, plugin for your Acrobat, or your Acrobat Reader. You can update your version of Acrobat Reader, which will automatically have the MIP plugin in. You can look to click on the top left and just open it into your browser. And like I say, first of all, try clicking on one of these icons and that may very well solve it for you as well. If after all of this, you're still struggling, fret not, send us an email to support at rsaccountancy.co.uk. But if you do, please do a loom as I am doing now. You don't even have to have this little circle with your face in if you don't want to, if that's not your thing. Um, but Doing a loom is completely free. It will provide you with a link once you've created your video and it allows you, as I am doing now, to share your screen and to talk us through what you're experiencing. So if you are having a problem, loom is a really quick and efficient way of actually helping us to see what you're seeing and get things resolved for you quickly. So if you've tried all of these options, send us a loom showing us what you're experiencing and then we can obviously see how we can help you and hopefully get that resolved even quicker. But fingers crossed, these options should resolve any issues that you're having. Um, but like I say, if not, just reach out to us and we'll always do our best to help. All right, I hope this helps. Have a lovely rest of your day.